Hey folks. So we're looking at the 29th of August, 1941, the end of the German term. And it's been an interesting little situation here. The last couple of turns you've probably seen, uh, you know, some pressure going on here, uh, where Rommel had captured this particular hex here with the uh, Commonwealth Hedgehog in it. And uh, that then led us to a little breakthrough where we captured Magen, uh, Martin, yeah, Martin Bagush. <coughs> Excuse me. And so we uh, had to relinquish the town as the access player and lost all the units that were there. It was just a couple. And over the course of the turn, the, the Allies, uh, Commonwealth forces rebuilt their line. But another very uh, somewhat lucky and uh, fairly vicious attack managed to break through again, and this time with a little more strength. And in fact, the Axis, uh, let me just check for you to make sure, did the Axis get back-to-back -back turns? No, they did not. So uh, that wasn't the cause of it, which is good rolling. Once we got this breakthrough here, uh, I took the parts of the 15th Panzer and moved them down to this location and then hip shot uh, a unit here. Uh, the poles that were here, these little chappies, they were actually upside down because they just moved, moved in. And uh, that, that kind of set the scene there for uh, us to be fairly aggressive. And I wanted to, this time, try and protect, as the Axis player, protect the supply line. Well, as I got into it, I moved these uh, two panzer regiments, panzer battalions, I should say, to here, trying to deepen the defense here, because uh, this is kind of thin. Uh, but then I realized, as I was moving, uh, I started counting back, this is where you can tell I'm a new OCS player. Uh, as I was doing that, uh, made all my moves or made a lot of my moves. I had then uh, realized that, you know, back over this side of the field, uh, the 14 hex range throw for the supply, to keep these guys in supply, uh, I wasn't going to make it because there's too many little slopes here to count across. So I was going to have to have control of this little track down here. And it was only with the track, which I would have to come up here, go over land, then back on this. Uh, I would have to have control of this hex. And there was a monster stack. The 5th Indian uh, had three brigades there, two of which were reduced. And uh, all of them were DG'd. So it ended up not being that terrible and a uh, risky attack. But I only had the two regiments stacked together to fight with because uh, I'd already moved these and done the hip shot here and I was like, oh my gosh. So uh, we rolled in with uh, 20 factors uh, and, and put the hurt on those guys and forced them to uh, take a, the two hex retreat and a step loss. Uh, I figured that they may as well retreat because the, they would have had to take an additional two steps in losses that would have left one step there. And since these guys were only moving uh, one, one hex, they would have the enough movement points to do that twice, to do that attack twice. And I'm just gonna check something here on the terrain chart because I'd be really pissed if I made a mistake here. <coughs> Let's see. Plus two, so it makes it three. Okay. All right. So uh, there's a limit on the uh, the terrain cost from for conducting an overrun. Unfortunately, we uh, are okay here. So uh, that's a relief because otherwise we would be doing a massive rewind at this point. Okay. So uh, so that's what happened there. So now that we secured this road, rather than pushing up, uh, we then tried to you know we deepened this up a little bit and uh, just push as much forward as, as we could. But then uh, in, my, uh, in my combat phase, I used the last of my air available aircraft uh, that I had flown in during the movement phase here and, uh, and raided these guys here, bombarded them, 
and uh, that will also help uh, protect this area. This stack underneath here is DG. There's just the one unit that is not DG. They're surrounded, so they'll be out of supply uh, in the turn, and they uh, will not have, uh, there's some armor in there as well. That's a pretty monster stack. I would have loved to have had another shot at it, but I just don't have the supply. And I really need to keep some supply down here for emergencies to throw for defense if uh, I'm attacked at a, at a critical location along here. So that's the update for the 29th. Uh, we're gonna play the British turn, and then we will finish up the month of August and begin September. Uh, if if this is if this uh, these guys are not relieved, and we lose all of this and all of this and probably this, I, I think we would at that point probably call the game in favor of the access player again, uh, which would be disappointing. But uh, it is what it is, I guess. So we'll talk to you guys soon.